Hello everybody, I'm doing something different today. I'm doing a review on Overwatch on the Nintendo Switch. The reason I'm doing this is because, wow, you can't really see that at all. Overwatch on the Nintendo Switch. And you might think, Jared, this is fake. There's no way the Switch can run the Overwatch, but it can. Uh, this is stupid. I'm doing this because friends of mine were wondering how it worked and I decided to give a full review and post it for anyone else that wanted to get the game and just talk about it because I actually really like Overwatch on the Switch. I actually prefer to play it on here than PC actually. I'm actually a PC player and just to let you know the whole history, I'm sorry for me spitting there. I played on the PC, I actually played on this laptop but this laptop was not able to run Overwatch at a certain point. When the free-for-all came out for the first time my computer could not run Overwatch anymore. It, it's not a gaming PC, but I was able to get it to run on the laptop somehow. So when I found out it was coming out on the Switch, I was super excited, but then I saw the gyro on it, and then I began to be a little skeptical on how the gyro would work. I didn't really think it would work that well. It looked a little iffy to me, but I actually really like the gyro. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the gyro is... Uh, I'll show an example right here. The gyro is you have to move the the switch left and right, up, down to aim. Usually you're just uh, looking in one direction to aim. You're not really uh, using the joystick too much to aim. You're usually just using the joystick to look in one direction and then use the gyro to actually aim at whoever you're shooting at. You can take the gyro off if you don't like the gyro. For me, I love the gyro because it's easier for me to aim that way, especially with snipers. Now, I have never, never, ever been able to snipe with Widowmaker on the PC. I couldn't snipe with anybody. I couldn't play uh, McCree, I couldn't play uh, Widowmaker, I couldn't play Hanzo, and then, uh, as you know, Ash came out, so of course I'm not gonna play her on the, on the, on the PC. I'm not gonna be able to, she's a sniper. But, on the Switch, with the gyro, I can actually snipe. I can actually play Widowmaker. I have never been able to play Widowmaker. I can actually get headshots with Widowmaker. I have never been able to do that with Widowmaker in my entire life of playing Overwatch. Not my entire life, only for like a year. And yeah, you gotta move it around and all that. You might find that annoying, but it actually works very well. And uh, really, you don't really need to use it for every single character. If you're using uh, Soldier 76, yeah, you're, I recommend you using it. If you're using a, like a sniper, obviously you're gonna use it. For characters like Reinhardt, you don't need it. I just use the joystick. You don't really need the gyro for that. For Soldier 76, I use the joystick to look around and I use the gyro to aim. And especially when there's a Pharah around, we wanna, especially when there's a Pharah, I usually just use the gyro the whole time. It works very well. I really like the gyro, it's really good. The only downside to getting it on the Switch is that you cannot transfer all your information from either PC, uh, PlayStation, Xbox, or whatever console you're playing on, wherever you're playing on. You can't transfer your uh, skins and stuff to the Switch. Sadly, you can't do that. For me, I don't care. It's just skins. I honestly hope this review made sense to you guys. I did kind of ramble a little bit, but there's not really a whole lot to talk about besides just the controls on the, on the, on the Switch for Overwatch. It works very well. That's all I can say. It works very well. It's very smooth. It does have a PC feel to it for people on console. I think they'll like it as well. They'll uh, find aiming a lot easier. But yeah, I highly recommend getting Overwatch on the Switch. I really like it. I decided to put my review in. A few other people put their reviews in. If you watched mine, thank you for watching. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's just my review. Just something I want to do for fun. There's going to be other videos that I make coming out soon. If you are new to this channel, I do make comedy skits and sometimes horror skits, which one is coming out very soon. It may have actually come out already. Thank you guys so much for watching, and watch out for gangsters.